Discover how to create for mesmerizing freeze character intro effects in CatCut PC with this detailed step-by-step -step tutorial. You can find Radial Background and download from pixels.com or pixavay.com. Let's use this video as an example. Pause where you want the intro to be, then select Freeze Frame. Delete the rest if you'd like. Move the video to the second track and place a background underneath it. Select Freeze Frame. Go to Cut Out and choose Auto Cut Out. Add some outlines if you wish. Then, go to Animation and choose a zoom animation that you like. Feel free to experiment with different animations to suit your style. You can adjust the duration by moving it to the right to speed up or to the left to slow down. Then, look for the Flash Transition in the Transitions menu and adjust its duration. Add text. And you can explore text templates for a comic style effect. Place the text where you want it in the video. Customize the text to your liking. Adjust the color to match your design. Once you're satisfied with the placement and design, your comic style intro is ready. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Let's use this video as an example. You can find the paint splash background and download it from pixels.com or pixavay.com. Drag a video to the timeline. Pause where you want the intro to be, then select freeze frame. And cut it to the desired length. Next, add a paint splash overlay. And adjust the settings to make it darker. Copy the freeze frame and paste it above the overlay. Now, enable auto cutout for the copy clip. Adjust the paint splash overlay as needed and increase the speed for a dynamic effect. Bring in a default text element and type in your desired text. Style the text to your liking. Go to the Animation tab and select the desired animation for the text. You can also explore text templates for better effect. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.
Let's use this video as an example. Select the frames you like, then click on Freeze. Extend the duration of the frames, ensuring the effect lasts longer. Duplicate the frame and paste it into a second layer, making sure the second layer video is aligned with the main video. Next, click on the second layer video. Go to the Video Cutout tab. Click Auto Cutout. Remove the background. Choose your preferred outline effect. Select a color. and adjust the effect as needed. Then, go to the Animation tab, add Fade In and Fade Out animations. Go to the Effects tab. Click Blur Effect Add to the Track. Move the effect between the two video layers. Start by adding a Blur Effect keyframe at the beginning. Adjust Blur to 0. Move the playback cursor to the corresponding position where fading ends. Adjust blur to 51. Move the playback cursor to the corresponding position where fade out begins. Now, add a blur effect keyframe. Move the play cursor to the last frame of the effect. Adjust blur to 0. Next, click dot silk screen add to the track. Move the effects between the two video layers. Adjust the color and size. Add a keyframe at the beginning. Then reduce the texture and filters. Move the playback cursor to the corresponding position where fade and ends. Increase the texture and filters. Move the playback cursor to the corresponding position where fade out begins. Add a keyframe. Move the play cursor to the last frame of the effect. Then reduce the texture and filters. Next, click the top layer. Go to Video Basic tab. Move the play cursor to the end of Fade In. Add a position and size keyframe. Move the play cursor 6 frames. Adjust scale to 140%. Move the play cursor to the start of Fade Out. Go back 6 frames. Add a position and size keyframe. Move the play cursor to the start of fade out. Adjust scale to 100%.
click on text and choose a text template. Move the text to the desired position and match it with the frozen frames. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Let's use this video as an example. To start, identify the moment in the clip where you want to freeze the frame. Next, right click at that point, go to edit, and click on freeze. Duplicate the frozen frame and paste it exactly on top of the original frame. With the duplicated frame selected, navigate to Video Cutout and click on Auto Cutout. Choose a stroke style that fits your vision and adjust the stroke's color, size, and opacity as needed. Go to the Text tab and select the Text Template. Customize the text to your liking, adjust its angle and position on the screen. Then right click create a compound clip. Apply the play pendulum effect. Click the middle freeze clip 
Apply the 1998 effect with settings at 40 for filter and 85 for texture. Adjust the brightness to make the subject stand out. Lower the brightness of the background freeze frame to create contrast. If desired, add a target behind the subject for added visual interest. Ensure the sticker is placed under the cutout subject, resize it, and position it behind the subject's head. Lastly, add a sound effect to mark the beginning of the freeze moment. Go to Audio Sound Effects, find a camera shutter sound effect, and add it at the freeze frame point. That's it! You've successfully created a movie freeze effect in CatCut. Feel free to explore and customize further to make it your own. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching!